Welcome to a tutorial video on Bitsy 8. In this video, I'm going to cover four of the main things we use within Bitsy. Avatars, tiles, sprites, and items. So if this is your first time using Bitsy, you will notice all of these little things right here. And I can kind of click and move these around. All of these are tools. When we use Bitsy right here online, we have access to different tools and the ability to move them around. For the sake of this video, I'm going to go ahead and close this About tool right here. And that will shift all of them over so they're easier to see. So I mentioned four different things. Avatar, Tile, Sprite, and Item. Now some of those can be plural, but one of them can only be singular. We always have a single avatar. That's the thing we're moving around when we make a game or story within Bitsy. Then we have Tile, Sprite, and Item. These all can be plural. We can have multiple tiles, which we in fact have, multiple sprites, right now we just have one, and multiple items. Now the difference between a tile, sprite, and item can get a little blurry depending on what we're doing, but they have some interesting constraints on them. So the avatar is something we move around, a tile can be a background or can be a wall, something we cannot pass through, and a sprite is something we interact with, and an item is something generally we use. Now we'll look in future videos how we can blur those a little bit, especially sprite and item. So over here, let's come over to the paint tool, and I have got avatar currently selected, and notice right here within these squares, we have something that kind of looks like a person. So if I click over here in the room tool, I can change the position within this grid of where I want the avatar to move. And again, as a, as a review, the avatar is something we move around. So this will be the thing that we move around. Over here in tile, notice that we've got sort of a square within a square. And that's what all of these are over here within this grid. Coming over here to sprite, notice we've got something that looks vaguely like a cat. And over here it says dialogue, I'm a cat. Now, one of the things we can do when we use Bitsy is associate dialogue, create interactions when we interact with sprites and items. We don't generally interact with tiles other than them being a wall or not. So we have a sprite, which is currently a cat, and it currently has a little sound. That's what this icon indicates. Uh, right here, we have a meow sound right here. I'm going to go ahead and set it to none. So we have sprite down here dialogue, I'm a cat, which will show up when we run into, interact with that sprite. And then finally, we have the option for an item, which is T, which is not currently in this room. So let's do a quick review of what I was just talking about. We have an avatar, the thing we move, tiles, which are generally the background, but can be walls, sprites and items. For sprites and items, generally these are interactable objects or people or characters, and then things we use generally are items. And if you're ever not quite sure, notice if you if you put the cursor over top of these, it will give you the tooltip, although of course in this video it's not quite capturing that. So let's go ahead and play this so we can see what this looks like. So I'm going to immediately jump into play. Write your game's title here, which I did not change the default title so we could see it. And now I'm going to just press any letter and we are immediately in. So I want to move my avatar. I do that by either using WASD or the arrow keys on my keyboard. So if I press A, we move left, D, we move right, S, we move down, and W, we move up, or arrow keys left, up, down, and right. Now, if I want to interact with the current sprite that's within this room, I run into it and it says I'm a cat. And if I press any key after that, it will then go away. I'm a cat. So notice that we also are moving around on top of tiles. So in this case, we have tiles around here as an, out, as an outline of the square. But notice I can pass through them. So tiles can serve as background and can serve as something called a wall. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this playing right here. And we saw we can move around an avatar using WASD or using the arrow keys on a keyboard. Alternatively, we can also move through tiles, is what we just saw, and we can interact with sprites. Now we don't currently have an item, but I'm going to come over here to tile and I'm going to come over here and hit wall. Now in this case, the conflict or collision between an avatar and a tile is if a tile 
is a wall, then we cannot pass through it. So let's go ahead and play. So I will press in a key and I will attempt to walk through a wall and I can't do it anymore. So now we have a wall. So the difference between avatar, tile, sprite, and item is that an avatar is something we move, a tile is something we put down that could be a background and can also be a wall. A sprite is something we interact with, usually characters, but not always. And an item is something we use. Now, in this video, I'm not quite going to go over how we use items, cover that in a future video, but those are the differences. So if we're immediately jumping into Bitsy, we now understand four of the many different key concepts within Bitsy. Avatar is something we move. Tile is something that can be a background or could be a wall. A sprite, something we interact with, generally but not always characters. And an item, something we use. And we'll circle back to using items in a future video. But this has been an introduction to Bitsy 8. Thanks for watching.